Today we're going to learn how to make your own Windows 7 terminal server. Alright, so this is our fake terminal server right here. This is a Windows 7 uh, professional 64-bit desktop. So I'm going to do, uh, here's the patch from the internet, and you right-click it and hit Run as Administrator. Click Yes on the UAC dialog. And then you'll see uh, term served DLL is unpatched. So we're going to just click patch. And that's done. See, it now says patched. I'm going to close it. Close that. And I'm going to start Amazing Charts just to show you that it works on this computer. Let's wait for this to load up. So you can see, here's my username, it's four accounts, I'm going to choose mine, I'm going to choose, type in my password here, log in, and here we go, here's amazing charts. Remember this is the uh, fake terminal server right here. So this is where everyone will RDP into, I'm just going to label it right here. Alright, so we have a fake terminal server with the patch. Alright, that's done. So now we're going to move on to a mobile computer, like a laptop or some workstation at a remote location. Alright, we're on our remote uh, notebook or workstation. So uh, let's just label it simulated random desktop slash laptop. There's no AC. Amazing charts on this computer. Just to show you, I'm going to type it in the start menu. Alright, so we have three uh, RDP connections right here. These are all connecting to the same IP, our terminal server that we set up before. So I'm going to click user one, because there's four user accounts on that terminal server. So I'm going to type in my password. And here's the uh, session on the terminal server. So I'm going to just label this, this you can tell this is user 1, but uh, I'm just going to put it in big letters here. So this would be like, pretend we had three separate laptops, I'm just going to do it on one, because it doesn't matter. So this would be mobile client 1, and I'm going to start up amazing charts. Alright, so I'm going to log in using my account user one one two three four and there you go we have amazing charts on the uh, first terminal uh, workstation I guess okay so I'm gonna minimize this wait a uh, let me put on the label first and minimize that and I'm gonna open the next terminal uh, like if, if it were a second terminal workstation so user number two on that server okay we just loaded into Windows 7 session on the terminal server I'm gonna open I'm gonna label this first you tell us user two this, this would be like a mobile client number two or if you had a separate office, a second workstation, whatever. Um, open amazing charts now. Alright, so I'm gonna select my username, user two, type in my password. One, two, three, four. Probably choose, choose a stronger password, by the way. Um, so here we go. A second instance of Amazing Charts on that same terminal server. Uh, Re emphasizes mobile client number two on the same exact terminal server of Windows 7. Uh, so now I'm going to open the third one, type in my password, it's user number three or computer number three. Alright, so I'm logged in here, and I'm going to 
I'm going to show you the star menu and show it's user number three, which is label this one, mobile client number three. an amazing charge for the third time on the same terminal server actually the fourth time because I already opened it on the terminal server I right, can choose my username user number three whoops All right, user three one two three four five eight. and here we go third the fourth instance of uh, amazing charts running on the same terminal server mobile client number three just to show you the side by side that these are not fake they're all on the same workstation obviously you wouldn't have three on the same workstation but they'd be separate so let me just resize these windows three side by side concurrent remote sessions on the same terminal server you can look at the top same IP address uh, three different users three different sessions all right so this demonstration of the terminal server is done all right so we're back to the fake terminal server um, just want to show you uh, the concurrent sessions going on. So there's the three users that are logged in using the remote desktop. And you'll see here's the one process running on the server and the show it from all the users. And you'll see four processes total, three from the remote clients and then one that's running locally. Uh, you can see the resource usage isn't even that high for that many instances of amazing charts. Uh, so yeah, you can see the client name in the session about it. So this is using a Windows 7 Pro terminal server instead of a real terminal server. Works pretty well. So success right here and we're done.